it's a pretty minor uh, adjustment um, that I think could make pretty big strides. Representative Kristen Clodier of Lewiston is talking about her bill, LD 1505, which would reclassify housing cooperatives as renters when it comes to housing assistance programs. According to Craig Saddlemeyer, the cooperative development organizer for Ray's Op Housing Cooperative in Lewiston, not many people know what a housing co-op is. A cooperative is it's affordable housing um, where the residents uh, own the organization together, they govern it together, there's no landlord, there's no third party ownership, um, they, it's resident controlled housing. That problem of awareness surrounding co-ops doesn't just stop at people. Their in-between status of renters and homeowners was causing problems for tenants trying to take advantage of assistance programs during the last few years. So really opening them up to um, you know, uh, rental assistance programs, allowing those residents to take advantage of those kinds of types of things. There are barriers to housing cooperatives to applying to these housing and utility programs because not many program administrators understand what a housing cooperative is. They're looking to uh, process applications for uh, rentership or home ownership, and uh, the housing application, uh, housing cooperatives pose a challenge in the application process. So this bill clarifies things and makes it easier for housing co-ops to apply for these programs without having to change the programs themselves. The bill will now face a work session in the Housing Committee before making its way to a full vote of the legislature. At the State House, I'm Corey Bouchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.